10 Most Impressive Mega Projects in Nigeria Nigeria's economy is particularly robust. The West African state continues to enjoy healthy growth to the tune of 5 to 6 percent annually, and this looks set to continue in the near future. Nigeria is also Africa's largest economy by some margin. Its GDP hit $569 billion in 2014, and this can be attributed to the many developments taking place in the country. With significant investment, the construction industry continues to boom. Africa Reloaded is on your doorstep again, with new discoveries and informative videos that are mind-blowing. But if you really want this video to blow your mind as expected, please make sure to give us a thumbs up or better yet, share, subscribe and also turn on your notifications for more incoming videos. These are the top ongoing mega projects in Nigeria. 10. Lagos Calabar Railway at 1,400 kilometers long and at a cost of $11 billion, the Lagos-Calabar Railway is one of Africa's most ambitious projects. The rail project will link Lagos in the west to Calabar in the east, while also connecting the cities of Port Harcourt, Uyo, and Abao along the way. Once completed, this transportation network will significantly enhance the movement of goods and services across the region. 9. Eco-Atlantic Finally, Nigeria has its own smart city, a mega project, and one that I'm personally involved with, called Eco Atlantic. This new coastal city is being built on Victoria Island, adjacent to Lagos, Nigeria. It is a focal point for investors, capitalizing on rich development growth based on massive demand, and it's a gateway to the emerging markets of the continent. The proposed Eco Atlantic is expected to accommodate at least 250,000 residents of the city upon project completion. The Eco Atlantic project extends over 9 square kilometers and is also expected to have positive effects on restoring and protecting the state shoreline. 8. The Lagos Light Rail will be the longest in the world. Lagos Light Rail is a light rail system, the first of its type in this region of Africa. It is envisaged to eventually consist of seven lines, red, blue, green, yellow, purple, brown, and orange. The scheme is approximately 35 kilometers in length with an estimated ridership of a minimum of 500,000 passengers per day. The following 14 station locations are proposed. The concessionaire is expected to generate her own dedicated electrical power. In September 2011, La Mata, Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, stated that it would acquire H5 and H6 subway cars from the Toronto Transit Commission (TTC), a public transit operator based in Toronto, Canada. Construction commenced in January 2010 and completion is expected in 2015. The Blue Line is now being built by China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation. The Blue Line will run 27.5 km from Marina to Akakameko with 13 stations. Lagos State is financing the construction of the Blue Line from its own resources. A concession contract is being awarded to finance, supply and operate the railway equipment, including electric power, signaling, trains and fare collection. The LRMT scheme is being financed by the federal government, 45%, Lagos State government, 40%, and Ogun State Government, 15%. 7. World Trade Center The World Trade Center project is a partnership between the FCT Administration and First Continental Properties Limited, a subsidiary of Churchgate Investment Limited. This will be the first such center in West Africa, joining 323 other locations in 89 countries worldwide in the WTC network. The construction site sits on 6,102 hectares of land along Constitution Avenue in the Central Business Area, which is located at the center of the city of Abuja. It will be a multi-use complex that will comprise luxury high-rise office towers, luxury residence apartments, conference facilities, shopping malls, and entertainment facilities. The first stage requires the building of two 24-story towers, one commercial and one residential, which will be joined by future structures such as a 37-story hotel and a shopping mall. 6. Lekki Free Trade Zone Lekki Free Trade Zone covers a total area of about 30 square kilometers, with 27 square for urban construction purposes, which would hold a total of 120,000 residents. 
approximately 50 kilometers from the city center of Lagos, the economic capital of Nigeria. Leki FTZ borders the Leki Lagoon in the north and faces the Atlantic in the south. It is designed to integrate industries, commerce and business, real estate development, warehousing and logistics, tourism and entertainment, etc. A considerable number of construction projects will be carried out in the commercial and logistics park, including the International Commodities and Trade Center, the International Exhibition and Conversation Center, industrial factories, office buildings, hotels, and residential apartment buildings. The commercial and logistics park in the long run is expected to serve as the logistics and distribution center for Chinese products in West Africa and serve as a service demonstration base for the entire Lucky FTZ. Five, Abuja Gateway Airport. The Abuja Gateway Airport has been designed to be a stunning solar-powered gateway that will have the shape of the traditional Nigerian bow harp. The design connects the new Abuja Airport to the central area on the opposite side of the freeway and comes complete with green roofs, a giant solar canopy and bricks made from local laterite clay. Aelic Architects' design symbolizes the weaving together of the country's many different people. The sweeping gateway brings together the city of Abuja's modern atmosphere with the cultural heritage of Nigeria as a whole. The plan features an amphitheater and public space with a photovoltaic canopy to provide power and shade visitors from the sun. A green roof covers nearby buildings, making them melt into the surrounding greenery. 4. Mambilla Hydroelectric Power Project As Nigeria looks to boost its energy production to match the needs of its booming economy and population, the government has finally invested in making the Mambilla Hydroelectric Power Project a reality. The $5.8 billion project will connect to three dams across the Donga River in Taraba State, eventually generating a total installed capacity of 3,050 MW of electricity. 3. Abuja Millennium Tower The Abuja Millennium Tower, as it is generally referred to, is a complex that is expected to hold a cultural center, the Millennium Tower, and National Square. The tower was designed by Manfredi Nicolti, an Italian and a winner of the Kame International Desk Critiques Architecture Prize. The 170-meter, 560 FT tower is expected to be Nigeria's tallest building when completed, along with an eight-story, low-rise, pyramid-shaped cultural center. Located in Abuja, the site is severed by a main road, so the two buildings will be linked via an underground arcade. The tower consists of three cylindrical concrete pillar-like structures varying in height and linked together near the tower's first peak using a disc-shaped section that will house, on its two floors, an observation deck and a restaurant where visitors will be able to enjoy spectacular views of the city below while they eat. Three transparent stainless steel wings wrap delicately but protectively around the base of the tower and gradually open outwards in a fan-like fashion as they extend up the height of the tower. 2. Gas Turbine Power Station The project is the engineering, procurement and construction of a 1,400 combined cycle independent power producers plant in Sapel, Delta State. The new plant is being constructed adjacent to the existing power station, initially in simple cycle with a later conversion to combined cycle to follow. The project will include a 70 km long, 330 kV transmission line to link up with the power holding company of Nigeria, formerly NEPA, National Grid. The first phase of the project is the installation of five gas turbines operating in simple cycle mode. Phase two will be the installation of a sixth gas turbine and three steam turbines to make it a fully combined cycle plant. Included in the first phase will be all the piling and foundation work for the whole facility official website. Feasibility studies have been completed and front-end engineering design is well underway. The power project is expected to service the majority of the Delta and neighboring states. The project was awarded by Ethiop Energy Limited to Roxon Engineering Nigeria. 1. Dredging of the River Niger slash Onitsha slash Barrow Inland Port. The dredged lower river Niger, the largest river in Africa, 
cuts across eight Nigerian states and passes through 152 communities. It has a length of 572 kilometers, which starts from Wari in Delta State to Barrow in Niger State. Other states covered by the dredging include Kogi, Anambra, IMO, Baelsa, Rivers, and Edo. The dredging of the lower river Niger was flagged off by the late President Yumaru Musa Yaradua on September 10, 2009. The primary objective of the lower Niger dredging is to guarantee the navigational channel is kept constantly open and functional to deliver sustainable improvement in water transport. As envisaged by the federal government, the dredging is intended to deliver numerous socio-economic benefits to the neighboring communities and the entire country, including creating an aquatic highway that provides year-round navigation, boosting the waterway networks, and ensuring a significant drop in the cost of mass transportation of bulk cargoes. The improved water transportation channel networks will alleviate congestion on the Abuja Lakoja and Benin Asaba Onitsha Expressways. Royal Westminster Dredging and Marine Limited and William Lloyd's Technical Company are some of the project contractors. While hoping you have learned a lot about the projects of this country, comment below for the betterment of our channel or better still, share, subscribe and also turn on your notifications for more incoming videos. Stay tuned for African Reloaded which will always have your back.